All right, first jump. New pilot chute, new canopy. Let's go. You guys are now fully aware that Amber's pregnant. And as much as that's a gift, I also get another gift. Because she's not skydiving, I get to use her canopy. Oh, new canopy! I don't talk about gear a lot, but I wanna bring up something that I found when I was packing and uh, maybe something for you guys to look out for. I'm not a rigger, by the way, so this is no expert advice by any means. Um, I have a C license, and I just wanted to bring it up to you, so just to remind you guys to inspect your gear every time you jump, every time you go to the drop zone, um, and inspect your canopy every time that you pack it, because I found this flaw, and uh, I needed a new pilot chute, so. Let's check it out. So I was packing, um, this is Amber's canopy, right? And check this out. This is where the pilot chute attaches on the inside of the D-bag. And I just wanna show you guys. Look at how worn it is. Um, and first of all, I don't really like this this metal piece being inside the deployment bag, right? Because um, your canopy's in there, and you could get this could tear some fabric, right? First of all, my rigger told me there's not supposed to be any play. Um, there's not supposed to be any a gap right in here, okay? It is supposed to lie pretty flush. Like, like this, okay. And so what I noticed was, look at this wear and tear in there. Look at that. Um, now it does have this second attachment point here, so I'm not necessarily worried about it tearing all the way, but it, it was definitely getting worn. So my rigger told me he could either replace that, but um, another thing we were looking at is this is the kill line. Let's see if I can focus on that for you guys. All right, I just wanna show you guys how worn the kill line is here. And uh, he told me it's probably about time for a new pilot shoot. So, I got a new, a brand new, Mirage Pilot Shoot. I'm super excited about that. So I'm getting ready to put it on. And uh, just wanted to hook you guys up with that. Let you know, I guess, what to look for, you know? And this thing's pretty worn in. The hacky's a little beat up. And uh, it's a little dirty. And it's time for a new one. So, um, also what he told me, right, was these you see this linkage here? I don't like this metal going inside the D-bag with my canopy, you know? It, it really seems like having metal in there with the canopy, like you could really damage your canopy. You could get some holes in it. And uh, I've even seen before a guy on, on another video um, deployed and he was packing and he found some, some big holes in his canopy. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Neither have I. Oh. I mean, it looks like a tear, like it got stuck on a grommet like it got or something. snagged on something, but I was like, I carried it out of the trailer yesterday. I know it didn't like catch yeah. on anything. All right. Could have been something like Somebody like step on it? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it was something when it opened. Like it, you know. But I did a hop on top of it. It was like not even a terminal. 
Didn't know where it came from. Had no idea. Uh, what it, like it got caught on something and got torn. So always inspect your gear. Always do your gear checks and inspect your canopy as you're packing it. You know, just look it over every time. Because if you're just looking it over like once a month, once every month, or once once a, a two times a year when you get your reserve repacked you could really miss something, you know? So if you're doing it over and over and over, you're gonna start getting familiar with your canopy and you're gonna start noticing things that are different each time. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the sky.